Mexico fans disappointed. Ferenc gets a screen and forces one. By two minutes. Here's Thorns. Inside, ten points. Thorns will fire it up. Team already in the early second half of this game. Here's Thorns. Their fate is in their own hands. It was a good timeout, I thought, by Coach Christian. He's got to get them under control a little bit. Thorns with a little bit. Can't do that, but you're right. He is good news, bad news kind of play. Thorns will fire and nail it from this. Williams hands it back, sets a screen at the same time, and Thorns, which has been doing a lot of driving, going after the ball in the glass. Thorns springs himself free and hits the lane and caught Williams trying betwixt and between and got the flush. Long three for Thorns. Thorns set the ball screen right there and then playing out of it. Thorns firing from deep range again. Need to get that ball in that high post so you can go high low. With three seconds on the shot by Fields over to Williams. Well, Williams didn't shoot that with much confidence. That really left his hand looking bad. Hank Thorns connects. Big Anywhere near to get the defensive rebound. Thorns, deep triple. Down it. Good team, and it wasn't somebody else having an off night. Thorns for three. They can't. Right underneath, TCU comes out with it. Three is good. A little bit of changing defenses. Three ball by Thorns, and that's true. Snyder, that big man that you see right down there, number 24, is going to get right on that block. I'm talking about McKinney. That time dunking at home. Will Bell plays off of penetration. He understands where his bread is buttered and doesn't try to get. Defensive team, and he is as equally good on the ball as he is what the show do, uh, does on a nightly basis is tastefully done. Yes. Thorns McKinney. Beautiful pass. They've lost 15 straight conference games on the road, and that was one of four games they came back from double digits to get the win. Williams the trip all counted. Thorns on the wing. Great zip pass inside. Great in the basket. We haven't seen Garland Green do anything uh, crazy lately or in this ballgame. Every game he's good for one highlight. He's a freakish. And with three minutes to go in four columns this year and lost in double overtime. Cameron Fields takes the pass. Thorns <laughs> by Butler. Finds Williams and he finishes. Thorns. Thirteen second difference, game clock to shot clock. Hank Thorne's nice pass. Basket in the foul for McKinney. Truth. I'm sure Bruce Hicks and Fisher just had it in for him. Fields. For three. Ambrick Fields. Pretty much been one and done as well, so when they hit shots, they can be really, really good. Unfortunately, they go on droughts like that. It's a long Long two, long go. Stevens posts it out for the board. Lost the handle. Thorns there to collect. Sean Stevens has had a really nice game. Tried to get a little too aggressive there. Anderson took his. I had that personally blocked, but I love how Dave Rice sacrificed a little bit of individual money. Amrick fields the dunk in order to. I, as an old coach, I can appreciate they have great role identification, which is kind of what you were talking about. They don't try to do things they. You know, the first half of this game, Ari, was not a greatly played. Look at that. Hey, hey. The Hank Thorne. With one man down on the post, he'll come up, screen, and roll to the bucket. Got a wide open look, and the long jumper is good. Bound to TCU. Craig Williams comes away with it. I think TCU's got to do a better job transition D as Anderson connects from long distance. But there's got to be movement and drive the ball to the bucket and create your offense out of it if you're the frog. Breathe. Hits the three. That's a big one. Would really just dominate them, but they have. Thorns running. 
look pass, and here's Green for two. Reward him for the job that he did. Thorns will run the floor now. Thorns hands off. Anderson's got it. Undefeated in conference play at home. They've already beaten UNLV at home. Can they take down New Mexico? Williams the triple. Great. TCU, I don't know much as a coach, but I'd keep the ball in Thorne's hands. Yep. It's one of the only times I don't mind a point guard over dribbling. No. when Hank Thorne's has it. No, he makes good decisions. He can make baskets for you. He's got a great feel for time and score as well. And he's still got plenty of time on the shot clock. Williams wants the triple. And why not? Hit a few threes and get some separation. That might be the difference. Thorns with a good head fake. Put the ball on the floor. Double teamed underneath. That leaves Williams alone. Off the... We want to welcome those of you who have been watching the... Supporter looking for the jump. Thorns found him, but he wasn't open. There it is again. Good catch. Line drive. Make off a win here tonight. 500 in the conference. You'll see Williams set a lot of screens, but oh, he'll shoot that. He'll try and Just like him. Him. He was Frogs have got to get more movement. They're really standing a lot. Open underneath is Cadet for the flush. 30 points in the paint in the first half. Thorne splits defenders behind the back and into this game, which is one of the top ten road records in the nation, so they've been a good road team. Basket and the foul, and Drew Gordon gets clean. Thorns beats Cadet for the slam. Score with 19. Fox is starting to stand a little bit more too, Tim. Not as much movement. Oh, great feed. Cadet wide open. Dwight thought about it, passed it up. Down low. Use of 19, 32%. There's Eichmeyer, too strong off the back of the iron. Bob's on the run, trailing by 10. And McField skips through the lane, and Bell is called for goaltender. Thorns working off the bounce. And that's three for three. Talking. Williams all the way, missed everything. Here he comes again. Up and ahead, tough pass. Great decision by Thorne. Greenwood, no. Gordon can't get the tip. Thorns. McKinney with the finish. Because I couldn't tell either. <laughs> Both of those young men were up there. It was really good off. They'll give it to Bell. And another one. How <laughs> might outweigh the other guy. Nice pass. Oh, that was a beautiful feat. Left hand. Western Kentucky. So they are on their way to having a record-setting night in the block category. Beautiful pass underneath. And Craig Williams. In that first half, they were 45.8%. Spencer gets his. I didn't like that double pump. J.R. Cadet had a really good look from about 15 feet. Double pumped. And it, he turned it. Frogs were 0 for 7 until that shot. There's a steal by Thorns. Looking long. Finds Cadet. And he lays it in. Again, let's see how Boise State handles the last minute 42. Intercepted. Aztecs get the new shot clock. And Ford steals the inbound and just does get it to roll. Going to settle down, run a little half court offense here. Right there in Fort Worth, and he has got a big time body. Barnes with the steal in the back. <laughs> Jackson a little too creative in traffic. Lob ahead. Green finished it. Are left to play out here regarding seating for the Mountain West Tournament. Juanel with the basketball being guarded closely by Fields. It takes it away from him. Defending that staying a little bit too long with the dribbler, and he's got to get back to Williams a little bit quicker. Now, Kendall Williams and Hugh Greenwood did not start the game, but they are starting here at the start of the second half. So their traditional starting five on the floor. Kendall Williams using a screen from Hardiman. Tough shot right there, no good. Refused the screen. He should have taken the screen knowing that the Horn Frogs would hedge hard. Muster at the 
end of the show. Drew Gordon gone with not only not a bucket, but not a low post catch. But he's just now back in the game. His thorns, it's not.